survival drives animals to extreme lengths in the wild. They spray poison, shed bone fragments, and adopt insane strategies. From weird to scary, creepy to utterly bizarre moves, hang on to see the fatal ways animals protect themselves in the wild. Komodo Varan The Komodo Varan, also known as the Komodo Dragon, because of its forked tongue that reminds people of the mythical dragons that spit fire. They are a member of the lizard family that is endemic to the Indonesian islands of Komodo, hence the name. With a whopping 60 teeth, the bite guarantees to be extremely dangerous. Their bite is not poisonous or venomous itself, but their teeth contain pieces of rotting meat that makes it a home to all types of pathogens. One bite will cause some of the most chronic infections. Let's just say they aren't known for their dental hygiene. Deathstalker Scorpions Deathstalker Scorpions are the world's most venomous scorpion. They pack a huge punch for anyone who's brave enough to cross their path. Its stinger contains a fatal neurotoxin that can incapacitate any animal it comes in contact with. The venom of this scorpion causes numbness, swelling, and can also shut down the heart and eliminate its attacker. Its venom is said to be so potent, it can put a human being into a coma and cause massive convulsions. So don't let the size of the scorpion fool you. It's very much venomous and isn't afraid to use it to defend itself. Spitting Cobras Unlike other spinning animals who target their attacker with projectile vomit, spitting cobras straight up shoot venom. They use spitting venom as a defense mechanism when cornered. In front of their fangs, they have two holes that they use to shoot venom, and they target the weak points of their attacker. They jerk their head and point the venom at the attacker's eyes. Their venom is cytotoxic, meaning it can kill every cell it touches. Electric Eels Electric eels are absolutely remarkable and are the ones to be truly feared. Now allow me to explain why I've said this. They stun their predators and prey by giving an electrical discharge of more than 800 volts. They have special organs consisting of numerous electric plates. They have modified muscle cells, between the membranes of which the potential difference is formed. Oh! Multiple electrical discharges can lead to respiratory or heart failure and cause the animal to drown even in shallow water. For instance, watch this alligator who becomes the reason for his own misery. Oh, corre aqui. Bombardier beetle. These bombardier beetles have one of the strangest ways of protecting themselves. It's because when disturbed, they eject a hot, noxious chemical spray from the tip of their abdomen with a popping sound. The back of their abdomen produces this self-heating chemical. Another remarkable ability is that this bug can shoot this chemical mixture in all directions, and the beetle's abdomen is reduced by up to 70 times when the liquid is released. This chemical is hot enough to give second-degree burns. The porcupine. Porcupines are medium-sized animals with small, odd faces, and their bodies are covered with hard needles that can reach up to a length of 30 centimeters. Some of these needles are so strong and sharp that they are used as arrows by different tribal hunters in Africa. Porcupines use their needles as weapons themselves. When the porcupine feels threatened, it trudges to the ground, grits its teeth, makes a loud noise, and shakes its needles. These needles fly in every direction, thanks to the sharp movements of their body, and can penetrate trees and cause lethal wounds. Skunk Skunks are mammals in the family Mephitidae. Different species of skunk vary in appearance, but all have warning coloration for other animals. 
Just like the potato beetle, these mammals also have a pretty gross defense mechanism. They are known for their ability to spray a liquid with a strong, unpleasant scent from their behinds at predators. The liquid is made by the glands, and it contains an odd concoction of sulfur chemicals, making its odor absolutely gross. They use this as their primary defense mechanism. They also bite their predators, which can cause rabies. <laughs> Secretary Bird This odd-looking bird with pink eyes, long legs, and black feathers strangely sticking out of its head is hard to take seriously. But this long-living bird of prey, when confronted with attackers, can deliver a strong enough blow from its legs that would put any martial artist to shame. A 2016 study showed that the blow from the leg of a secretary bird is equivalent to five units of its own weight put in a time span of 15 milliseconds. And these birds weigh around 3.5 to 4.2 kilograms. A couple of their strong and fast kicks are enough for them to get rid of a snake. Hagfish. Next up, we have the hagfish also said to be living fossils, as they've been around for about 300 million years. They look like giant worms with two sets of razor-sharp teeth. Well, the sharp teeth are not the only weapon they have, because when attacked by a predator, hagfish wrap themselves around the predator and suffocate them like it did here. They also secrete a slimy substance from their skin. The slime solution with water tends to expand, so when the solution gets into the predator's body, it expands and shuts down their respiratory organ. They usually scavenge at the bottom of the ocean, so as the predator expires after the hagfish's attack, it eventually becomes its meal. Fulmar If you think you know the most bizarre defense mechanism of an animal, you might want to reconsider, because up next on the list, we have Fulmars. They have the most original but nasty defense mechanism. They seriously repel their attacker by vomiting on them. They create a concentrated oily liquid in their stomach, and then spit it on the face of the attacker if necessary. Yeah, it's exactly how I've explained it. It's totally gross, but effective though. This liquid clogs up the wings of aerial predators. Exploding ants. The size of ants should not be taken into consideration, as their actions are quite big. These ants literally sacrifice their lives to save their colony from intruders. This species of ant was recently discovered in 2018 in the rainforests of Malaysia also known as Malaysian exploding ants. They are known for their weird defense method. Something like saying, I'm defending some, my queen. When their colony is threatened, they tear themselves apart and explode their back end, releasing a poisonous, sticky fluid created by glands. However, this is an extremely effective way of protecting the colony, but this technique is lethal for both parties. Pygmy slow loris. Pygmy slow loris might be the best example of cute, but fatal. These innocent-looking creatures with big, round eyes, when attacked, raise their paws above their heads, not in a signal that they are giving up, but it's a defensive posture as they bring their weapons closer to their mouths. Got it. A delicious dragonfly. The glands on their elbows secrete a liquid that, when mixed with their saliva, becomes a potent poison that they spread all over their head to ward off predators. They also keep this poison in their mouths to use if they have to bite. The poison bite of a slow loris can rot flesh. That's why they are considered as one of the most poisonous mammals on the planet. Marble Cone Snail Marble cone snails use a venomous sting as a defense mechanism and they have the most venomous sting in the world. Their breathing tube, known as a siphon, is also used to catch the scent of any predator or attacker. Their proboscis packs a concealed weapon, a small, hollow harpoon made of chitin. 
The snail shoots the harpoon through the proboscis, and when it strikes, it doubles as a hypodermic needle to inject the predator with paralyzing venom. Yeah, it's better to not collect snails when visiting the beach next time. And if it's a cone snail, definitely leave it alone. Boxer Crab This animal might have the most unique defense mechanism of all the animals in the world. Yeah, you guessed it right. It's the boxer crab I'm talking about. They live up to their name and use their claws to punch away the attackers. The boxer crab creates a symbiotic relationship with sea anemones and uses them as boxing gloves. By using sea anemones as boxing gloves, the crabs can pack a good punch. The sea anemones also benefit with this setup. They get carried from place to place, can reproduce, and find new sources of food. Potato Beetle The potato beetle is also known as the Colorado Beetle, and the adults spend the winter 5 to 10 inches underground in potato fields, hence the name. These bugs have one of the most repulsive defense mechanisms among animals. The potato beetle uses its excrement to deter predators, spreading it all over their bodies, where it works its magic. Not only does this substance emit a foul odor, but it's also highly toxic. The reason behind this is the potato beetles feed on a very poisonous plant species called nightshades. As we know, we are what we eat, and the excrement of the beetle also contains these poisonous chemicals. Anyone who ingests this beetle is certain to face dire consequences. The Iberian Ribbed Newt The Iberian Ribbed Newt, also known as the Spanish Ribbed Newt, has a crazy way of defending itself. These amphibians push their ribs through their skin to create spiky thorns. On top of that, these thorns are also covered with poison when they are pushed through the skin and glands. When a predator tries to eat this newt, they will be attacked by its poisonous spiky thorns. The newt is not really hurt by this defense strategy. Their ribs go back to their correct position, and the punctures in the skin heal over time. Researchers have found that newts walked away unharmed after this altercation. The Blue Ringed Octopus The Blue Ringed Octopus also defends itself using a lethal poison, but they are also highly intelligent. The average size of a Blue Ringed Octopus is similar to a golf ball. But we've already seen that size doesn't matter if you have a lethal poison. Any predator who makes the mistake to go after the blue ringed octopus is attacked by its poisonous venom. The bite of this octopus isn't even supposed to be painful, but that doesn't matter as the venom is enough to finish the predator. Sea urchin. Found in all of the world's oceans, sea urchins have a round outer skeleton with hundreds of movable spines. Sea urchins are highly vulnerable, and they rely on their spines to deter predators. You can easily pick up most sea urchins without getting injured, but some species of sea urchins have highly venomous spines that can cause painful puncture wounds. Their spines vary from being slender and sharp to massive and blunt, both helping them to get rid of their attacker. Mustache Toad Mustache toad, commonly known as the M.A. Mustache toad, found in China. The males of this toad species have adapted to grow about 10 to 16 horns every spring on their upper lip that are about 5 millimeters in length and are made up of the same strong protein as our keratin nails. If a human were to hold this toad in hand, their horns would just scratch, but can't pierce the skin, as they aren't strong enough for that. But they can still bruise or stab each other when confronted. Geckos Geckos are small, mostly carnivorous lizards that have a wide distribution, found on every continent except Antarctica. These geckos have some strange defense mechanism. When confronted with stress or a predator, they just shed their skin and easily slip out from the attack of their predator. It was recorded by scientists on a November night in 2014 when they spotted two geckos. The larger one had caught a smaller one, but as it struggled, the smaller gecko slipped away, shedding its skin within 30 seconds. 
Scientists suggest that geckos have developed this defense mechanism toward nocturnal snakes and other geckos. Norwegian Lemming These little rodents look absolutely cute. The belief that the Norwegian lemmings collectively jump off a cliff to avoid predators was absolutely wrong. They have a very strong survival instinct, which makes it a bit difficult for the predators. When lemmings are confronted with an enemy larger in size, they do not leave the grounds, but enter in a battle and make deafening sounds to intimidate the predator. They also attack the enemies and bite with their sharp teeth. Norwegian lemmings can fight cats, wild birds, and even big dogs. Sea Cucumber Got no poison or venom? No worries, just shoot out your organs to defend yourself. Yeah, that's right. Sea cucumbers are creatures that literally spill their guts on the face of the attacker. They move around the ocean by either their two feet or they flex their body to move around. Still, they can never outswim their attackers. So, they shoot their intestines and other internal organs out of its anus to the predators. The organs can wrap around the attacker or get caught in the gills. Their internal organs are also covered with a poison called holothurin that can also cause the death of its attacker. Not only do sea cucumbers hurl their insides at their adversaries, but when that fails, they simply vanish completely. Their body gradually starts to take on a blurred form, and in this state, they glide away safely. This ability possesses a risk since they occasionally have the potential to overdo it and pass away. The Ascidia. Many animals, including but not limited to possums, snakes, and some fish, pretend to be lifeless when attacked, but the Ascidia takes this charade a bit too far. When attacked by a predator, the Ascidia starts a bizarre act of throwing its internal organs out. First, it throws away its stomach and guts. Then its torso shrinks, making it seem lifeless. This action is quite effective, as the predator is intimidated and scurries away. Well then, what happens to the Ascidia after, you might ask? Well, after around five days of this action, it grows all of her organs again and lives on. The Pangolin Pangolins, sometimes known as scaly anteaters, are occasionally mistaken as reptiles, but they are actually scaly-skinned mammals. Being covered with scales from head to toe, they use those scales to their full advantage. When startled, the pangolin will cover its head with its front legs, exposing its scales to any potential predator. If touched or grabbed, it will roll up completely into a ball, while their sharp scales on the tail can be used to lash out. Their armor is so strong that it's believed that soldiers armed with swords could not harm the pangolin. Many predators try hard to open the pangolin ball, but they fail. Japanese Bees we all know bees work really hard to make honey. And it's their most prized possession, and they'll not back down when someone tries to steal their hard-earned honey. To fight off predators, bees have developed all kinds of defense mechanisms. One of them is decapitating their intruder. When an intruder, that in most cases is a hornet, enters the hive, bees let them in. Then a total of almost 500 bees attack simultaneously. The bees work to increase the temperature around the hornet's body to 47 degrees Celsius, while the hornet, who can withstand a temperature between 44 to 46 degrees Celsius at max, is baked inside a crowd of bees, who can withstand temperatures up to 50 degrees Celsius, leaving them unharmed. Ant lion larva. Ant lions feed on other ants, but there are other animals that feed on ant lions and their larva. And those, of course, are birds. The larva of an ant lion is more vulnerable and are unable to actively defend themselves. So what do these creepy creatures who dig the pits of death to trap other ants do to protect themselves? They resort to a passive strategy. They just lay completely motionless, pretending to be lifeless. 
This strategy actually works, as birds' brains are wired to detect moving prey, so these larvae are not acting lifeless, but they are just being as still as possible while hiding in plain sight. Boxer Crab This animal might have the most unique defense mechanism of all the animals in the world. Boxer crabs live up to their name and use their claws to punch away attackers. The boxer crab creates a symbiotic relationship with sea anemones and uses them as boxing gloves. By using sea anemones as boxing gloves, crabs can pack one heck of a punch. Sea anemones also benefit with this setup. They get carried from place to place, can reproduce, and even find new sources of food. Ribbon Worms The ribbon worms use their internal organs to ward off predators. They push out their proboscis, which, when exposed, takes a life of its own and starts to move individually from the ribbon worm. They are also covered with venomous slime that paralyzes the predator. The ribbon worm then just leaves its proboscis there and takes off. But this doesn't affect them, as they have the ability to regenerate their organs. Several species of ribbon worms contain tetrodotoxin, the infamous pufferfish venom that can induce paralysis and death by asphyxiation. Antifreeze Frog The wood frog is built to partially freeze and play lifeless. First, they let the water flow out of its internal organs, which eventually forms into a surrounding protective layer of ice. Meanwhile, its body accumulates urea and glucose, which act as an antifreeze, keeping the individual cells in vital organs from freezing. This one's defense is pretty <laughs> tricky, as the frogs have high levels of urea. The predators consuming high levels of these frogs will reach a toxic level of urea, eventually proving to be lethal. So predators try to avoid these apparently frozen wood frogs. And now, let us move on to our subscriber pick of the day. This image was sent to us by one of our subscribers. Similarly, if you ever wish to know more about an image you come across, just send it to us. Who knows? We might even feature it in one of our videos. Horned Lizards So here we are with a subscriber's pick. Horned lizards have three different mechanisms. Number one being camouflage to deter aerial predators. Number two being puffing themselves up and becoming double the size and all spiky. The third one, and the most unusual and weirdest defense mechanism on the planet, is this. When confronted with a predator a thousand times heavier than themselves, they shoot a stream of blood. How do they do it, I hear you ask? Well, they reduce the blood flow out of the head and build up the blood pressure around their face. It increases to a point where it bursts out in a stream of blood. They can shoot it up to five meters into the air, scaring predators and leaving no chance for them to attack. See you next time.